Well, hello, everybody. Uh, Marsha from Be So Creative. And I am just quickly wanting to send you a video going over one more time our fabric. Um, and I hope you got the fabric prep papers. Uh, if you sent off to um, our Be So Creative period NM at gmail.com, uh, you should have received these uh, items here. So what I want to go over real quickly today is um, just a couple of things. You should have this, and I wanted to do one more time, go ahead and go over um, our fabric choices again. And then I'm going to show you uh, what I pulled out of my stash, because I, I do, like most of you, have a really lovely stash. So when we look at our fabric guide, you have Scrappy, and the reason that this is just printed in um, black and white is the Scrappy, you can go to your closet and get out whatever you want, but I want you to notice that they are labeled lights, mediums, and darks. So let me pull that a little closer so you can see that. So there's our lights. There are five lights, four mediums, three dark, and a backing fabric. So what I have here is this is um, this fabric line is from Canvas. This is the one that I actually showed you um, in our live last Thursday. But I want to go over these. So this this is lemon. So it's a really beautiful yellow. Periwinkle, which is more on the lines of a uh, purpley blue color. We're considering this pool, a really nice blue. And you will notice that these are all light colors. We've got this lovely apple green. This is called jelly, and this is a lighter purple compared to the rest of the purple in this group. So here are our first five lights, okay? Then we come along and we have, um, a dark, darker medium green, I'm going to say medium green. Um, they're calling this lemongrass. That works for me. Then we have this really beautiful orange, which um, one of my favorite colors is orange. This is called punch. It's more of a um, kind of a, a blue, a uh, blue red. Well, it is a blue red. Um, has a little bit of more of a pink cast to it. This is candy. Now we've picked this as like a dark uh, candy apple, kind of orangey red. So there are our four mediums, one, two, three, four. And then last but not least, we have a really nice dark purple and even darker purple. And I know it's really kind of hard to see um, from, from my lighting, I, I don't, I can't get it any better, but um, this is a real dark purple. And then last but not least is this really beautiful dark green. So these are the kind of colors that you want to pull. You want to go to your stash, get your five lights, your four mediums, and your three darks. Okay, so I'm going to push these aside. Okay, so here are the colors that I showed on our uh, live, but I'm going to push these to the side here. And I'm going to show you what I pulled from my stash. Now, here's the thing. I can't ask y'all to go bust your stash if I'm not willing to go and bust my stash. So this is what I have picked. I love batiks and I have a bunch of them. So let me show you what I've selected. So here is my first one um, that I'm going to call Lemonade. Here is my periwinkle, and it is definitely a bluey purple. This is my pool. Slide this down so you can see a little better. Here is my apple. This is my jelly. My lemongrass, my yummy, delicious orange, 
here's my punch. Mine's going to lean a little bit more towards the um, uh, pinky color. So that's my punch. I decided to go for a really bold candy apple red. Here is um, my like darker purple. This is my really dark purple. I mean, it, it's really dark. And then, yes, last but not least, this is my dark green. So here are the colors that I have pulled out of my stash. And um, I am really excited about this project. Now, because each one of these are listed here, the ones that are across from them, whether you're using batik or you're just using any kind of um, uh, moda, canvas, whatever, whatever you have out of your stash, these have been designated by lights, mediums, and darks, okay? So what you're going to do is you should have received this sheet when you asked for your fabric prep uh, pages. And if you will notice, they are listed as light one, light two, light three, light four, light five, medium one, two, three, four, and dark, dark, dark. So here's what I want you to do. Once you have selected your fabrics, okay, you're going to take a little snippet and you... Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to get your uh, fabric guide and I want you to put a little bit of a, a little swatch off of each one of those in the coordinating square. The reason that you want to do that is when we actually begin piecing our or putting our blocks together, they will tell you you're going to use, and this is an example, you're going to use a piece of L5 a piece of L1 and a piece of D3. And so you need to be able to have this little guide handy so that all you need to do is just look over there and go, oh, okay, um, L, L1 is going to be my uh, light yellow or lemonade color or whichever one you've picked from your stash. So that is why I want you to use this guide, it's going to make it a lot easier on you to um, start putting your blocks together when we actually start sewing. So I think that that is going to be um, very handy for you. So that is why you have received both of these, um, these fabric prep pages. I definitely want you to use those, especially because we are going with our stash. So just to let you know about that would be wonderful. So now all you have to do is go to your stash, pull what you um, want, and we will get started on October 31st. That is going to be our first block sew along. Okay, so that's going to be October 31st, and that will be at four o'clock Mountain Time. Um, and I will be sending you out an email um, along with this video, and I will send you out another email um, closer to time so we can get uh, just as a reminder for you what you're going to be doing. So, again, Grab your fabrics, put them on your uh, fabric guide, and be ready to roll on October 31st.